Hello everyone, hello my money friends, welcome back to the channel, Dunk here from Dunk's Money. If you are a subscriber, thank you very much for subscribing, I really appreciate the support and thank you for all the liking and commenting uh, on my previous videos. If you are new to the channel, I'm Dunk, I'm from Scotland, I'm an entrepreneur and then I'm an investor, I'm really interested in finance um, and this is my YouTube channel where I will share uh, uh, stocks and shares sorts of tips uh, financial issues and other sort of money matters I'll be posting videos here so make sure to subscribe so that you get all my latest videos and I hope that you will enjoy them I started off in the world of finance about five about five years ago or so um, and I understand that it can be quite confusing at first but don't worry you will get there keep watching the videos and watch other folk as well and you'll learn lots more about finance I hope you enjoy oh sorry hi everyone welcome back yes I am still addicted to these damn brownies. I can't stop eating these chocolate brownies with lockdown. I'm really, I'm going to get fat. Anyway, sorry. I uh, digress as usual. Welcome back to the channel with me, Dunk, from Dunk's Money. Today, I'm really sorry guys, excuse me. I'm going to bring you a, a quick wee video um, to explain uh, what, what happens when you buy shares when the stock market is closed. It's a very, very common question. Uh, it's quite often overlooked by many experienced investors, traders, they don't explain it really because they assume that everyone knows when they don't. And if you're watching this, I'm going to assume maybe you're quite new. And I'm hoping that in today's little video, I will explain it to you in a way that's easy to understand. So we've all been there, experienced traders, new traders. You know, it's the weekend, for example, or it's after five o'clock and you're looking at shares and you put in a purchase and then you go, off oh, for flip's sake, the market's closed. Why did I do that? because it's not going to confirm until the stock market reopens. But I've done it, you'll see it in my videos, I've done it before myself. But you do have to be careful, guys, when making purchases uh, of shares when the stock market is closed, and I'll tell you why. If you look at my video where I bought Moderna stock, hell stupidity here, I purchased Moderna stock when the stock market was closed, and I thought I was getting it at one price, but actually when the market opened, the price had skyrocketed, so my order wasn't completed and I missed out. And that's that's what happens. And uh, I'll explain to you what happens when you buy sh shares during the market being closed. So basically, for example, let's say it's a Saturday night, okay? So Saturday night and someone's tipped you off to say, buy Moderna stock, it's gonna go up. The COVID vaccine, it's really good results they've got, blah, blah, blah. You think, oh, I'm really excited. This isn't a true story, by the way. Um, you go onto your app, say, Saturday night, and you think, right, I'm going to buy a share, uh, and it's £58 a share, and you think, right, I'll, I'll buy 10 of them, for example. And then you think, right, okay, I'll wait and wait and wait. What, what it means, guys, it doesn't mean that on Monday morning when the stock market opens, there's no guarantee that you will get that share at that price. Because during the weekend, in addition to you buying that share at $58 or £58, there might be thousands of other people buying the same share at that price. So what happens is over the weekend, all the orders start building up, not just the weekend, but even like after five o'clock or half past four in the afternoon, all the orders are basically put in pending. Now bear in mind here, I am not, I am not making any reference to after hours trading. That's a whole separate thing. I'm talking about non after hours trading here. So you know, the general stock that you've purchased after hours um, with no special after hours trading. If you put in the order with all the other thousands of people, when the stock market reopens, basically, there's no because there's so much demand for that share, the price goes up, and because the price has gone up, nobody at the other end is willing to sell you the share at the lower price that you thought you bought it at. And I really hope that makes sense. I'll try and make it really easy to explain. As we know in basic economics, the laws of supply and demand. So you have thought you're buying shares at ten pounds a share. The market's closed. But with everyone else all buying at the same time, pushes demand up, so supply drops. So when the market opens and they start to actually trade the shares, nobody's wanting to sell you their share at your price, which was lower, because suddenly there's so much more demand. I hope that's explained it. But that's basically what happens when you buy shares out with the normal market hours. And that's why you'll find that it's quite treacherous to buy shares when the market is closed. Don't get me wrong, sometimes you'll buy a share and you thought you bought it at, say, £60, but when the market opens, 
you actually got it at 55. And I've had that. There wasn't as much demand. But sometimes you have to be careful because you'll put it in thinking £60. But when the market opens, the share price is up to 70 And I had that with Moderna. So that sale didn't go through. And I think that's why I'm doing so poorly now. Because I jump on that bandwagon too late. And that's why it's always advisable that you buy your shares whilst the stock market is open. Now guys, I really hope that has explained it to you somehow. I'm trying to put it as simple as I can. Um, so that if you're new to this and a beginner, that you'll understand it. Uh, it's like, for example, right, this is a total example, right? Say, say you want to buy chickens from a farmer down the road, okay? And his, his shop is closed. But you go in at 6pm and you say, listen here, Farmer Dan, I want to buy 10 of your chickens. How much will that be? Well, roughly, I normally sell them at £5 a chicken. Um, so we'll make a maybe, maybe tomorrow when you come back and the shop's open, you could look at maybe getting the chickens at £5 a chicken. You know, as long as everything remains the same in terms of demand. Okay, perfect. So you come back the next morning with your money. So it was 10 chickens at £5, £50. You think, brilliant, I'll buy my 10 chickens at £5. But when you turn up at the farm, there's a huge queue of people all wanting to buy Farmer Dan's chickens. So Farmer Dan, being a profit-maximising individual, thinks, holy moly, look at all these people, right? Chickens are now £15 a chicken. So the price goes right up. And that, in essence, is basically the laws of supply and demand, and that is why the share price will change when you are ordering a share whilst the market is closed. Because when it reopens, things change, and that's the thing with shares and stocks. Things change so quickly. And I hope that really simple little example has helped you. And I hope that I've not spoken too much here and waffled on. But that is basically why stock prices change all the time. Supply and demand, and that's why you should really try and buy while the market is open. And that way you know the price you're getting them at. And yeah, that's what happens if you buy shares during the market being closed, the price can change. Um, so I hope that helps. If I have helped you guys, <laughs> I hope I have, please hit like so I know that I've explained it well. Um, as always, guys, remember to hit subscribe to get all my videos as they come out. And uh, let me know in the comments below if I've helped you understand that at all. Yeah, hopefully I have, but that's a very simple explanation as to what happens when you buy shares during the market being closed. Stay safe, guys. Enjoy trading, and don't get to, don't make it complicated. Just enjoy it and practice. You'll get there, honestly. Cheers. So I really hope you enjoyed that video there. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please uh, comment below uh, and tell me what you think. If you like this video, please make sure to like it, and please remember to hit subscribe, and you'll get all my latest videos. All the best guys, I'm Dunk and I love money, so should you.